weeknights on MeTV. Who loves you, baby? You shouldn't ask. It's Kojak. Well, it sounds like music to my ear. On MeTV. Look at me. Why do we love him? Maybe it's the way I call my hair. Or maybe it's his trusty right-hand man. More bite? Crocker! 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 Kojak! <laughs> I, I just wanted to hear how it sounded. Telly Savalas is Kojak. Story of my life, baby. Weeknights at 12 30, 11 30 Central on MeTV. Who loves you? I'm Lou Grant. Mary asked me to do a promo for MeTV. You want to see me, Lou? <laughs> not now, Ted. Watch me on. Danish? Don't I said, not now, Ted. Watch me on me, MeTV. You don't like me? I'll fire you! Watch Mary Tyler Moore. I'll fire you! MeTV Fresno, now on Comcast Channel 187. Meow. On the program today here on Connect With Me, live on Comcast Cable Channel 187 and 43.6, we are going to be talking to Kathy Ferguson. She is the Executive Director of the Girl Scouts right here in the Central Valley. We're going to talk to her about the 100th the 100th anniversary. Your phone calls are very important. 265-4331. Back in just a moment. My daughter is watching this program today because, uh, or later tonight, because, you know, we're going to be talking about the Girl Scouts, and I'm very excited to talk about the Girl Scouts of America today. My daughter is a Girl St a Scout, and she very proudly serves in her troop. She enjoys it so much. The Girl Scouts of America, they are celebrating their 100th anniversary this year. Let's go to the videotape and we'll show you what I am talking about in terms of Girl Scouts. This is the scene that takes place at many of the Girl Scout meetings across the Central Valley, in fact, across the entire country. This is the Central California South meeting every other Monday right here in Fresno. Now, my daughter is actually a member of one of these troops here. She is a Girl Scout. She's proud to serve and she loves it, she says. The Girl Scouts, well, it's an American institution chartered back in 1950 that has throughout its history inspired, inspired so many young girls and young women across the country. The organization offers many good and wholesome things like friendship, a sense of community and cooperation, relationships, and skill building, all very important for these young ladies right here as they so proudly serve. But the organization, hey, just like the Boy Scouts, like any other organization, they are not without controversy. We'll get into that. But live in our studio right now is Kathy Ferguson. She is the Chief Executive Officer of the Girl Scouts. She brought a bunch of goodies for us, including some Girl Scout cookies, I hope. And I have my daughter's vest. It's a Girl Scouts vest. Look at all the patches on this vest. It's incredible. Look at that. As I hold that up, I'm going to hide behind it. <laughs> anyway, Kathy will be here to talk about the vest, about the organization, about what's going on, and the coming events for the Girl Scouts as they celebrate 100 years in existence. We're going to be talking to Kathy. We encourage your phone calls. 265-4331. Back in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99, and this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. <laughs> My daughter might be looking for her Girl Scouts vest, and I have it right here. I promise I'll bring it back. I, I'm interested in this patch right here. It's uh, Fresno to Larry. 
the patch right there. It's the pink and the green. She loves this vest so much and loves being a part of the Girl Scouts celebrating 100 years. Last year she was in the Veterans Day Parade and walked two miles. I was so proud of her. And I'm so proud and pleased to have in our studio today Kathy Ferguson, the Executive Director of the Girl Scouts right here in the Central Valley. Welcome to the program. Well, thank you so much for having us. We're yeah. very excited to be here and yeah. to visit with you today. Yeah, I've looked forward to this uh, for so many days now because my daughter, as I mentioned here about 100 times now, She's a member of the Girl Scouts, and not all that long ago, the Boy Scouts were here, and my son is also a member of the Boy Scouts. So, um, why join the Girl Scouts? Well, I believe the important part of the Girl Scouts is that it is the best girls' leadership organization in the world. Why? Because it teaches girls to discover the world around them, discover problems that are in the world, and that world can be for the little daisies, our youngest group, uh, in her family, in her, in her, around her house, in her school. Then to connect with people that can help her look into how she might change that. And then to take action in her community to make those changes that are so necessary. So you think being a part of the Girl Scouts and the organization and their troop and the surroundings around them help these young girls mature into young women? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. It helps them grow from the leadership at the level that they start at being little ones all the way helping them progress using a great model to build on. Great women have come out of Girl Scouts and they use those leadership techniques as they progress into their lives and they give credit to Girl Scouts. Is it as wholesome as I portrayed it or is it Am I overstating it? Well, with we have three million, over three million girls that are in Girl Scouts. So around, around the nation. Around the nation. And okay. we have 11,000 here in the Central Valley and Girl Scouts of Central California South. We have councils, each council, uh, we have 112 councils throughout the country. And each council is independent of the national organization, a separate 501c3, but our national organization organization governs our charter okay ah, so I that's see. how that works okay. but and it was chartered back in what 1950 I our mean. charter yeah well and actually our charter for Girl Scouts of Central California South was just chartered four years ago because we merged merged with the Kern County Council okay. and the Fresno Council specifically what do they learn uh, they learn leadership skills, they learn how to work on a team, they learn to chart out the path and make plans, they learn financial literacy and how to set up budgets, they learn how to listen and how to express themselves, and we offer programs that help develop those skills, all the skills that are necessary in the boardrooms. My all daughter's only nine. How does she learn all these things? Is it a progression? There are progressions. Uh, they, it's called the Journey Program, Journeys Program, and those programs are designed to help girls travel along in their life's journey and their life right. experiences. All right, uh, I want to turn you around to the monitor here. We're going to take a look at a piece of video. This one is called Clean the Beat. They're actually learning how to clean, and um, uh, this was at uh, one of my uh, daughter's Girl Scout troop meetings uh, that took place just recently. It's called Clean the Beat. Look at that, clean the tables and everything. They're learning first, uh, and these are some of the skills that you're talking about. You see a vacuum there. They later vacuum the floor. So what are they learning from all this? Well, first of all, there are some techniques in regards <laughs> to cleaning, and uh, such as do you vacuum first and dust second? Right. I bet a lot of people don't even know that. So there are things that they learn to do. There are, are things that uh, they learn about chemicals. There are things that they learn about uh, what to do, what not to do. Uh, various um, opportunities that they have in setting up, tearing down. Uh, let me explain to you, we do events at our <laughs> council and we, ha we have to know how to do all of these things. So right. they're organizers. They learn to organize. Oh, there's Miss Janine. She is the uh, troop leader. She is a fantastic troop leader and uh, my daughter loves her. She's very helpful and 
uh, a great leader in that in that troop there. As you can see, they're wearing the blue T-shirt, uh, outstanding, passing out the towel so they can start cleaning. And safety, <laughs> a lot yes. of safety yeah. uh, is involved in that. Like not running over the electrical cord, things <laughs> like that. So. Yeah, not inhaling the fumes not of the chemicals. Not inhaling the fumes <laughs> of the chemicals and using chemicals that will not hurt the environment. That's exactly, and that's what the, that's what Miss Janine was teaching uh, at that particular time. Hey, there she is tripping over the cord there <laughs> on the vacuum. It, uh, it was quite, uh, quite funny to see all of that. The, the Girl Scouts, of course, has been around 100 years. What does the 100-year anniversary mean to the organization, not only here in the Central Valley, but across the country, that it's lasted, it's endured 100 years? How have they done it? Well, it's been through world wars. It's been through many wars, well, actually. Women couldn't even vote. Women could around. not vote, and many <laughs> of our, our spectacular women in history have been those that have really worked hard to ensure that the girls of today have a path an easier path to walk through and I think that that is what it says that this organization is here to stay yeah. because it passes down to the next generation key elements that keep it going it's still even in this day and age 2012 I guess it's not easy to be a woman it's still very difficult uh, out there in the real world and I guess that's what my daughter is learning too and maybe it'll get better but as we turn to the monitor one more time here Carol I want to show you some video where the kids are actually being ID'd in their troop but when you look at the fact that they've endured for 100 years how in your opinion have they been able to do that in such difficult times over the past century I think a lot has to do with the dedication of the leaders and the girls having such a great time and understanding and learning things that they felt were valuable that they want to pass on down to the next generation. And here they're learning safety because they're actually being fingerprinted, how fingerprinting works actually had an officer in there, I believe, and they were, they were teaching the kids how to fingerprint. Very important. Our kids this last year, because we had some counterfeit bills passed to our girls uh, in our cookie sales, the girls learned about counterfeit bills. Yeah. So we yeah. there was a lot that they learned. Yeah, I think that is a, you know, I don't want to misspeak. I, I think that's an officer that was there that night teaching the kids about identification and how to stay safe and away from strangers Correct. and and all of that sort of thing. A very interesting uh topic there of conversation and uh, I love going to the meetings. Hey, I'm, it, it seems like, well, I don't know, I think I'm the only dad at the meeting. I feel a little out of place, but. <laughs> well, you're not the only dad in our council. We have dads that are troop leaders and yeah. we have dads that are service unit managers as yeah. well. And uh, very active dads that take the girls on trips, those kinds of well, things. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm very proud of my daughter. You brought some goodies here, we'll talk about that. Your phone calls are encouraged. Hey, come on, a hundred years. Girl Scouts have been around. You've got to call in, ask a question or two. The phone line is open. I know you're out there watching on this Friday, 265-4331. you got to have a big smile on your face. It's Friday. The weekend is here. Back in a moment. <laughs> After your bones and let's twizzle. Weeknights, do the twizzle with me. Everybody starting doing the twizzle. starting at 9, 8 central on MeTV. Well, I will say one thing about the Girl Scouts. Uh, every meeting that I've been to with my daughter, there is certainly no lack of enthusiasm. They're all enthused to be there. They're, they're bright-eyed when they walk in. They're uh, enthusiastic about what they're doing and what the activities are. And... This is my daughter's vest, as I, as I explained. Now, I, I'm not familiar with all of these patches, but you have to earn these patches, do you not? Well, at uh, the back of the vest, these are what we call patches, and they receive those Hold that for, up just real for quick different. There. there you go. They receive these for different activities or events that they participate mm -hmm. in. 
They are not necessarily not just out. no. Yeah. Well, some of them it, for just being at the event they can receive these. However, those that are on the front of the vest are those that they earn, and those are called badges. Okay. And those are the earned badges. Yeah, I think she's got uh, yeah, she some on the front here. Yeah, at the here. bottom there. See mm -hmm. the ones at the bottom? Those She had to earn those, right? She did. And okay. those are based on the Journeys program. Okay. And she did have to earn, th like, this particular one that you mentioned before, which is the Fresno and Tulare. We have five counties in our jurisdiction. Oh. And so she attended an event in Fresno and Tulare and had she attended the other three it would have fulfilled her whole territory event right. and this year she'll be able to fulfill it next year as well but it will not have the gold trim around it the gold right. trim designated the hundred year right hey I got some more video to show you here as we turn to the monitor and it's uh, the troop they're all chanting at the end of the night let's mm -hmm. listen ask you uh, that was at the end of each meeting they do that mm -hmm. they, they chant and they hold hands and they're they're in a circle what are they learning by doing that well actually it is a culmination of the day and it reminds them that they are all friends and intertwined together that they depend on one another for the things that they're doing in their troop and for completing the projects that they are doing. But not only that, they are saying that they're going to be friends forever and that they are making that commitment to one another. They are. Okay, you brought some goodies here. I Tell did. us what these are really quick. Here. Well, we, what, what do we have in this green box here? Well, we're in our product sales of candy and nuts. And the value of this is that it is an actual program. And the girls learn a lot of different things through this process. But they also generate their funding for to start their troop off. Hmm. We believe in teaching girls to fish rather than giving them the fish. So actually the girls become self sufficient in their troop by through the um, product sale, uh, fall product, and the cookie uh, program. What are, what's, are these nuts here in the can? Or yes, um, we've got cashews, we've got hot Cajun crunch, we've got all sorts of different kinds. And then uh, people can also order baskets, like if you have for clients, things like that. And this helps a girl who can't afford to be a Girl Scout the funding goes towards uh, their membership fee. Now, what's in this box here? Mints? Mints. Like mints. Okay. And e every year, uh, Girl Scout comes up with a tin, a special tin. Oh, I and see. And this is I one see. of the tins that they have. They have also another uh, another tin. Mint? But anybody out there in the audience? <laughs> okay. Anyway. But chocolate-covered pretzels, <laughs> We, you name it, we've got it. And it's an outstanding way to get the troop going. They so you purchase make plants. these, you mm -hmm. purchase these, and then the money goes toward the troop, and it stays here mm -hmm. in the Central it Valley? It stays right here in it our council. It doesn't go to, like, Chicago no, or Boston? No, it does not. Okay. All the, All right. Same with the cookies. 100% stays in our council. I know. I've, I have, how many, who hasn't purchased Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> well, and we're known for that, but people right. need to understand that that is really a program. And the girls What do you receive, mean by that, a program? Well, they learn, literally, um, go to, um, like, they'll go to Cookie Biz, where they'll learn about marketing. They'll okay. learn about financial, the aspects of financial literacy, such as budgeting. What their troop will do, will sit down and determine what the goals of the troop are this year. Oh. Then if the, let's say they want to take a trip down to the Los Angeles Museum or someplace like that, then they have to figure out, well, how much does that cost? Then they'll have to figure out, well, how are they going to raise those funds through the product sales? 
program, then how much will how much was each girl going to have to raise? Yeah. And then they determine and they set out those goals and they set the parameters and they learn how to set their travel plans. They learn all about those aspects of it. A lot going on in Girl Scouts the next uh, few weeks here. We want to get into that as we talk about those things on the other side of the break. Your phone calls are important. If you want to call in, come on. I know you're out there watching. You want to chime in. You have somebody who wants to join the Girl Scouts here. You have a daughter, a niece, a cousin, whoever. 265-4331. We're back in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. We want to show some more video here, and this was the Veterans Day Parade uh, last year that my daughter was a part of. Uh, the Girl Scouts uh, troop there, Miss Janine, took the girls all around the parade route. It was like two miles long. Let's take a look at it as we turn around and look at the monitor there. And there they come in the green vests, just the same ones that uh, you see here on the set, the, the one that belonged to my daughter. There they are in last year's uh, Veterans Day Parade, and courtesy of KC24, thank you for the video. What does it mean to be a part of this parade? Uh, There's so many proud veterans that take part in this as well. Well, Girl Scouts has always applauded the efforts of the military and the protection of our freedom in this country. There they are. They were saluting. Uh, as uh, they're saluting the stand and saluting some of the military leaders. Uh, very interesting to see young girls doing that. Very, very intriguing. Well, we have been very fortunate. Uh, our Air Force, our, our naval base in Lemoore has been wonderful to Girl Scouts of Central California South. In fact, last year they hosted our Girls Summit out there and gave us the Naval College to use. So we are very much a part of the support. We also have a program where people, if they don't eat the candy or the nuts, can donate $5 and it will go to help us provide a subscription to a magazine or a can of nuts that's right. sent over to our military right. overseas. That's great. That's such a good cause. And uh, the Girl Scouts are involved in a lot of things. I want to talk about some controversial issues before we get into the um, events that are taking place. And okay. don't want to put you on the spot too much because you're here to talk about some positive things. But they, you know, like the Boy Scouts, they have their problems with uh, sexual allegations. We have all heard about it. We've all read about it uh, taking place throughout the course of time, uh, including recently, the last couple of years. But one of the criticisms toward the National Girl Scouts organization is that they support abortion and they support Planned Parenthood. Respond to that. Well, first of all, Girl Scouts is a girl leadership organization. We do not have a relationship of any kind with Planned Parenthood or nor do we support any side of any issue such as abortion. Those are issues that girls need to discuss with their parents and their clergy. And they need to make their own decisions. And they make their own decisions. We do not get in or get involved with that uh, at all. You don't all. preach that at we any do of those not, and we do not, and we yeah. don't have a curriculum that deals with that. Right. Uh, we do want the girls to learn to find their own voice as they grow up just like anything else um, I may not like everything everybody says there are girls uh, Girl Scouts on if you will both sides of the aisle that is their <laughs> freedom to speak it's right. just like a parent you know I think my daughter's a little do too everything young to, you love my daughter's a little too young to understand a lot of this mm -hmm. stuff but if she gets older she will and she'll make her own decisions and you what you're saying is the Girl Scouts will let her make her own decisions. absolutely we do uh, we try to work it so that she understands that she needs to listen and hear all sides she then needs to formulate her own value structure and, make and then make her choices um, but that is not uh, we don't not part of your curriculum not part of my curriculum at all or right. the Girl Scout curriculum and 
Let's take a quick phone call here. I think they're still there. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? I'm doing very well. Great. Speak up so we can hear you. Just talk directly into the phone. Go ahead. Okay. Quickly. Um, I was wanting to say I was not in Girl Scouts, but when I was, when I was younger that I would have been. But um, I would say it's a very good thing to sign up for for young w girls. And I wish if I had a girl, I would have put them in. Mm -hmm. But I was just saying it's a good thing to really sign up for and put your girls in. Well, it's good to hear good comments like that. Well, and uh, we would love to have people like you who are interested volunteer for our organization. We have loads of opportunities, big and small. Lots of time and very right. little time. And right. so if you are interested, please contact us. Okay, I appreciate your phone call. Thank you very much for, for calling in. Uh, before we get into some of these events, other events, Carol, I want to ask you about, are the Girl Scouts, and I read this on the Internet, don't know if it's true, last year I guess somebody uh, in Colorado, they accepted a boy into one of the troops. Are the Girl Scouts accepting boys into various troops around the country? I think the answer to that question is we don't get into discussing whether they are boys or girls. If the parent presents the child as a girl, she is treated as a girl. Okay, so boys are allowed if they want. I don't get into whether she is a, a boy or a girl. If the parent it presents the child as a girl and she is a girl in all aspects of her life, then she is a girl to me. Okay, uh, we'll get into that in a second. Let's take another phone call really quick. We're almost out of time here. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Quickly, what's your question? Hi, I was calling because I wanted to sign my daughter up for Girl Scouts. Okay, can you speak up a little bit, please? Talk directly into the phone. What's that again? I want to sign my daughter up for Girl Scouts. Okay, how does she do that? She can give us a call at 800-490-490. 8653 and ask to speak to a membership specialist and we'll be happy to get you signed up. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for the phone call. Uh, let's get into these uh, events before we run out of time. you got a tree lighting ceremony taking place November 30th at the airport. What does this commemorate? Well, this commemorates our our push for recycling and keeping our earth clean and the Girl Scouts decided that we wanted to honor all of the sponsors that have helped us over the last 100 years and so we are dedicating this event to those sponsors we want the Girl Scouts to come out we want everybody to come out and light the trees at the airport and that will be November 30th. You got the Got Milk campaign from 15 years ago. Got Milk, and uh, this campaign is going to uh, be running right now. They need to go to gotmilk.com slash news. And the Girl Scouts need to supply a picture and tell why Girl Scouts is important as well as why milk is important to building their strength and courage. Okay, an event that takes place at the fairgrounds in February of next year. It's called Girls Around the World Quickly in, in 20 seconds. What's that about? Girls can travel all over the world with never leaving the building. Come down and find out about uh, all the different countries in the world. Okay, I think we're about out of time. We've already talked about the products and obviously uh, some of the goodies that take place with Girl Scouts. Carol, I sure appreciate you being here. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. And uh, come back again. I will. On the 200th anniversary. We'll get together again. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be around <laughs> for that. <laughs> but I hope the, I hope the organization yeah, certainly will Yeah, it be. will. It will. I'm, okay. I'm sure it will. You have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, and thank you for having us. Thank you, Carol. Come back again. That's going to do it for us today. Hey, on Monday, you've got to watch. Set your DVR. George Hostetter from the Fresno Bee is going to be here. He's going to be talking about privatizing garbage. It's an issue that will, in fact, affect you one way or the other and your home expenses. Back on Monday. Have a great weekend.
Do you like me? Just like me. Like Me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV.